What is up? Welcome to Cutting Up. I am your host, Mac, and you see the title of this video. So we're gonna get straight into this review of some Bevel products. Now, Bevel is a brand that I actually found at Target. It is black owned, which is important to me. Maybe it's important to you. Now, when products are black owned, I tend to have a little of back and forth internal struggle with them. First of all, I'm going to acknowledge my bias. Obviously, I'm cheering for black owned and minority owned products, and brands so obviously I'm gonna be drawn to anything that's gonna be like that and shout out to Target for carrying these kind of brands now one of the things that tends to turn me off sometimes the price points for those things tend to be a little higher than your generic run-of-the-mill Procter & Gamble multi-owned conglomerate brands the problem with that is yes I want to support black and minority owned but I also don't want to feel punished for trying to support my people another thing is is when these big conglomerate brands do something we kind of tend to just not pay attention we're not reading the brand labels and the ingredients so hard and looking into who owns it which is unfair to the black and minority owned brand an example of that one of the things that right off rip I noticed versus some of the other minority and black owned brands that I've reviewed in the past is bevel tends to not from reading these ingredients earring on that like organic or natural path that's not to say you're not gonna find some good things in there like argan oil or aloe vera there are some grapeseed oils but that's not to say that all the brands don't have those things and are water-based or any kind of critiques that can go into any of the brands but we tend to pay attention to those things when they're black and minority owned and we put them at this higher standard we want them to be black minority owned we want them to be organic and natural we want them to be good for us we want the packaging and the branding and the way that they're being marketed to be pristine and we kind of just let the other brands fly under the radar and give them credit whenever they do something like greenwash their packaging or something and say well they're doing better than they were doing in the past meanwhile we're highly critiquing these brands sometime ready to cancel them as soon as we find out there's something that isn't quite up to code instead of just kind of saying it's a critique and hope that they work on it in the future this video we will be reviewing three products from Bevel, an exfoliant body wash, face and beard wash, and finally we're going to end off with a curl cream or a styling cream. Now it does say hair and it doesn't say beard and obviously I'm going to be heavy on my beard in my case, but we will put it in the beard and see how it ends up. So check it out. All right, so we're in the show off. Let's get to it. Now it says it's an exfoliant. So I guess it's a point to have some kind of beads or some kind of scrub to it. I'll let you know how I feel about the texture and the smell once I actually build a lather with it. by the sink and I'll tell you my final review but I gotta say I have one major plus and one major minus and that minus might not be important to you but they advertised it so stay tuned to hear what I gotta say about that all right, so fresh out the shower and I have my final review on the body wash. And I'm gonna get into that in a minute, but let's get through these other two products and then I'll tell you all three what I think all together. So next we're gonna be using the two-in-one face and beard wash. I'm gonna show you how this lathers up, what I think about the scent and yeah, let's take it from there. So they say a dime size. That's probably a little bit more than a dime. I gotta say it is a thick enough thing that it doesn't come out too watery where you, you feel like you can't control how much you're using. This thing built an excellent lather. I gotta give it that. Use the dime size for real, for real. This is a really, really good lather. Now in all honesty, I would probably put this in the shower. I think with me as this being a two-in-one, 
I just do the beard and the face wash at the same time. Okay, I think again, I have enough to have my final review for the two-in-one. But again, we're gonna save it for the end. We're gonna use the final product here, which is the, the curling cream, and we'll take it from there. So, it says about a nickel size. All right, so this is pretty thick. You can see it doesn't run all that much. Let's start in order with the body wash. So I definitely have some flowers to give this. Before we do that, we're gonna throw some dirt on this name though. I'm gonna get into what I didn't like about this. The first thing I have to say is the exfoliant part of this being a body wash. Yeah, I did see the little specks in there. I didn't even feel them in there, but I feel like to me, my opinion, I felt like that was very gimmicky. I felt scrubs in the past I've had from other brands and you could really feel the scrub and the grit. This was very soft. It was better that they really went for advertising this to be moisturizing and non-drying. But yeah, as far as an exfoliant, I didn't really feel like it was doing much in that case. So I wouldn't run out and buy this if you're looking specifically for an exfoliant body wash. There's gonna be others. Now let's get into the stuff that I did like. Now, as you can see, I got one of their little travel ones or their on the go kit. So this is just a little $5 kit you kind of can throw in a gym bag or something like this. What I did appreciate about this was this package was not a one-time use. I feel like I could maybe get two, three, even maybe four baths out of this, which is pretty good by my standards. I was hoping that it wasn't gonna be cheap and I was gonna need the entire package. As far as what their directions are, it's just build a rich lather. And I felt like it lathered up pretty well. Now, a reoccurring theme through all three of them, what started with the exfoliant body wash is the scent. Now, I did initially on the smell test, say that I like this smell and once I bathed with it, I just felt like the power of the scent got really strong. I have reviewed products in the past where I felt like they faded when you actually use them in the shower. And this did the total opposite. This got stronger. I walked out for a second there. My wife asked me what I use, complimented the smell. I still can kind of smell it on me. It isn't overpowering, but I feel like it didn't just fade away and I just forgot about it. So this is a lasting smell. If you end up liking the of this one thing I can say about bevel so far that I got to give them credit for is that bevels smell or their scents seem to enhance with use and that definitely did that so as an exfoliant eh, I would find something else but as far as just a body wash if you're not into ultra everything has to be clean and I'm avoiding seed oils for some kind of allergen this is worth a purchase in my book so I would say yes to the body wash but not so much for an exfoliant. Next up, we have the face and beard wash. Now again, two-in-ones I am not a huge fan of, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't think they're going to really convert me. If you did buy this to be strictly a face wash, I'd be okay with that. That's kind of how I feel about this. I felt like my face doesn't feel dry. I haven't put anything else on it. I haven't put any kind of oil or moisturizer or anything on my face. So I have to say my face does feel hydrated. And again, just like the body wash, this smell did enhance with use. Now, the thing about this scent was this scent wasn't my favorite. It was okay. It did have a nice citrus smell to it and once I used it so be careful with bevel you have to be a fan of the scent itself but once you use it again highest of praise to the fact that the scent gets stronger with use and doesn't fade with use so again I would say even though I'm not a fan of the two-in-one I guess this would be high praise from someone who's not a fan of two-in-one kind of things um, this is a buy this one in particular what I also was impressed by was the lather the lather was super rich with this I, I got to the point where I almost felt like the lather was too big and I should have used a little less than what was suggested or gone strictly with that dime size I got you know overconfident that the glorious beard was gonna require a little bit more but no really stick to what they say here I was impressed with the lather and with the scent building on this this is a purchase 
for me and a win for black owned products. Now, last but not least, let's see if we can make this a clean sweep. The curl cream, I have to say, with use, even though there wasn't any enhancing this to be like, you know, building a lather with this, it did get stronger. Now remember, I wasn't a huge fan of that like, grandfather musk smell to it. It did get better with use. I still can kind of smell it on the beard and in the mustache. So it is lasting and it's not terrible. I think if I was to couple this with my, you know, my cologne or body spray and or and my deodorant and all that kind of stuff, it's not something that is there. But this is definitely gonna be more of your classic masculine smell, but kind of generic. It's kind of very, like I said, grandfather musk. So not my favorite scent, but again, if you're into that, if you you're not like me and you are a fan of that kind of smell, the smell does get stronger, the scent does get stronger with this. The only thing I can say is I don't have hair to really use this on, so I guess I wouldn't be the best reviewer for this. As far as the beard, I can say, I mean, I feel like the beard is styled. I feel like it looks good, but I've used leave-ins and kind of been able to achieve this as well. So I wouldn't say this is not a purchase. I don't know if I would run out and buy this again, but I wouldn't say that I would never use this again. So this is kind of like slightly sitting on the fence, slightly just edging it over, especially with the other ones to say this is a buy or at least worth a try. Try it for yourself and you be the judge on this one, especially if you have more on the top of your head to offer than what I am, I'm about to shave right now as it is. And as far as what it's doing to the beard, I would have to use it in a longer term situation, go out with it and see how it performs. But yeah, I feel like, like I said, the beard feels in place, it feels moisturized, and it doesn't feel like heavy in my beard, and I don't feel like it's dry or anything like that. So this is a win for Bevel. I gotta say, these three products are, if this one is probably the only one I would pick and say just specifically for me is maybe uh, more of a try it for yourself and see but the other two are definitely buys and that was my bevel review but let me know in the comments what you guys think of bevel go ahead and check them out i don't know where else they are available other than target but i know i got this at target and i love finding um black owned stuff especially for our hair textures and that's gonna wrap up this video let me know in the comments what your experience with bevel is till the next time we're cutting up stay sharp and i'll see you in the next one